and I had some great conversations with Alex Cavanaugh, who had designed, I think, saws two through five or six, uh, and she had some great notes about the original jigsaw cloak, her version of the jigsaw cloak, that it had been, she'd worked with Darren on saw two, and because jigsaw was, I think, in palliative care, he wanted it to almost feel like a bathrobe. And for this modern iteration of the jigsaw cloak, we kept the color dark, we kept the, um, the shaping of a hood. In our case, one of the considerations is that it has to go over this very large prosthetic pig head. So we had to sculpt a hood that would cover the pig's head from various angles too, so that you can shoot it from the side and you might see like the tip of a snout poking out, but I wanted to give them the latitude to be able to shoot him from the side and you don't know that there's a pig mask underneath until he turns to the camera. And then also playing with the proportions of the hood so that you can't tell from behind that it's not a regular head in the hood. For Chris Rock's character of Zeke, a lot of the inspiration came from reality. So we had this idea of doing it as a film noir, so I took a lot of references from 40s and 50s styling, but it was still very contemporary. And Chris's ideas that he brought to the table were he really wanted it to feel like this is a real cop. He said to me over the phone in our first conversation, you know, this guy makes $30,000 a year and he has to give half of it to his ex-wife. He, he said, everybody, I've hosted the Oscars three times. Everybody knows what Chris Rock looks like in a nice suit. I don't want it to look like that. So we really tried to keep it realistic with, you know, not perfectly tailored. He wanted off the rack. There is a certain sheen that cheap fabric has and a certain way that a cheap suit falls. Um, and that's what he really wanted, so that's what we did. He's wearing, you know, off-the-rack mall clothing. Darren also had great notes from speaking to real detectives that these guys anticipate getting dirty in the field, so they're not going to wear, they're going to wear, wear clothes that they could get blood on them, they could get vomit on them, clothes that are not expensive, clothes that they can, you know, throw in the wash, throw away if they need to. Um, and so, in terms of where his clothing came from and how it fit him, it's intentionally a, a little bit shabby. And then with elements for the film noir, we tried to keep it classic with, um, you know, more of a, a knit tie, a tie that has a print that's more of um, like a 50s style of a print. He wears this beautiful shoulder holster as his gun holster, and that I think adds to the, the look that Darren was wanting. Working with Darren, I had worked with him once before in a feature, so I knew that he is somebody who um, just has always a really clear vision of what he wants, and he's creative and collaborative. I really enjoy working with him because he has great ideas, he has really good instincts, but he also gives people the freedom to bring their own ideas to the table, uh, and that, as a creative, it's amazing because you feel like you know you can do what you want. I think he has really good taste. <laughs> um, and his taste is a little bit, you know, it's not, he doesn't always go for the safe choice, which is really nice.